Welcome to What's New in Air. Hi, I'm Eric Lai, Product Manager for Air, and I'm joined by Jared Finder, Engineering Manager for Air. In this session, we'll start by sharing our vision for augmented reality. Then, we'll talk about the improvements we've made over the past year. And finally, we'll announce a set of new features that we're excited to launch today. For instance, new creator tools directly integrated into Unity and Adobe Aero. New capabilities to the AR Core Geospatial API that let you anchor content on building facades. And new semantic features that provide labels for outdoor scenes thanks to AI. And more. Let's get started. First, our vision for augmented reality. Augmented reality, or AR, is a technology that seamlessly blends the physical and digital worlds, enabling developers to place and users to interact with digital content in their physical surroundings. For instance, AR makes it possible to blend in virtual text, objects, or even entire scenes with reality. We believe that the profound shift triggered by augmented reality is that all things and places can acquire digital attributes. Knowledge about things and places will increasingly appear to reside in the physical things and places themselves. For example, a local gallery can add helpful information and knowledge about the artist and shows directly over the art pieces or the building. The physical objects and places themselves will increasingly become the canvases for personalized, immersive, and rich experiences. For example, a music band can digitally take over a whole city and make it their stage for a virtual concert. When the physical world acquires digital attributes, it redefines the way people learn, create, shop, get information, and play. You can get a glimpse of how people interact with the world in new ways today. With AR working navigation in Google Maps, glance at the street to know which directions to walk to. You will get clear, augmented directions arrows to get to your final destination, both outdoors and indoors. Last December, Gorillaz, the world's biggest virtual band, turned Times Square and Piccadilly Circus into a music stage, thanks to augmented reality. With the Gorillaz Presence app, you can step inside their music video and connect with the band in a larger-than-life virtual show. If you live in New York City or London, check out this amazing experience. Last but not least, later this summer, you'll be able to play one of the most acclaimed arcade games in real life, in the real world. We are proud to announce that Google is partnering with Taito to launch Space Invaders World Defense, 45 years after the original release. The game is inspired by the original gameplay. Players will have to defend from Space Invaders coming at them. It will combine AR, and 3D to deliver a fully contextual and highly engaging experience that connects multi-generations of players. To reward engagement and neighborhood exploration, the experience will be fully customized based on the player's context, including location, nearby buildings, time, and local weather. We are very excited about this partnership with Taito and this real-world AR game that transforms your city into a virtual playground. These examples are only at the beginning. In line with Google's mission to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful, we, on the AR team, are on a mission to make the real world a launcher for helpful and delightful immersive experiences. To realize this vision, we are continuously improving AR Core. Google's platform for building augmented reality experiences on mobile devices for Android and iOS. AirCore is available on over 1.4 billion active Android devices. This past year, we have been investing in improving our core capabilities. For a virtual object to blend in correctly with the real world, it needs to be placed in a realistic way at the right place. For instance, virtual chairs need to be correctly placed on the floor, not below or above it, just at the right height. 
Plan finding is a critical capability to achieve this. We are excited to announce that we've decreased incorrect planes by 52% using AI, such as the plane connecting the top of the couch pillows in this video. Another key capability that we've improved is video rendering. Developers have been asking us for solutions to make the rendered video smoother and less jittery. We heard you, and today we are launching a new feature in ARCore called ARCore Electronic Image Stabilization, or EIS. ARCore EIS provides ARCore clients with additional rendering data to compensate for a normally shaking hand. You can see in this example how striking the improvement in the user experience is. We now also support Vulkan rendering in ARCore apps in addition to OpenGL. We expose the underlying Android hardware buffer, which enables apps to do all their 3D rendering in Vulkan and get more efficient CPU and GPU usage. And now I'll hand it over to Jared to talk about the exciting new features launching today with the Geospatial API. Thanks, Eric. Last year, we launched the ARCore Geospatial API to enable developers to create world anchored experiences. The Geospatial API gives everyone the power to augment their world, blur the boundaries of reality, design AR experiences remotely, and share their creation in over 100 countries. Today, we are excited to announce a series of new tools and features that make it even easier for developers and creators alike to create geospatial experiences. We have invested in three areas. One, new AR tools to make it easier for creators to build immersive experiences. Two, new APIs so developers can get easy access to our 3D model of the world. And three, new semantic features so developers can save time and effort when building geospatial content. Let's start with the new AR tools for creators. Today, we are releasing the Geospatial Creator, a set of AR features powered by AR Core and Google Maps platform that will make it easier to place digital content in the physical world in just a few clicks. With the Geospatial Creator, creators can easily visualize where in the world they want to place their digital content through aerial and ground level views, similar to what you would experience with Google Earth or Google Street View. They can then drop an anchor at the selected location, drag and drop their digital asset, and voila! No need to get latitude, longitude, elevation, or the rotation quaternion of the selected location anymore. We do all the hard work for you, so you can focus your efforts on creating magical, immersive experiences. Even better, developers and creators won't need to change their workflows to use these features, as Geospatial Creator is being integrated directly into industry-leading products for content creation, Adobe Aero and Unity. And more partnerships are coming soon. If you want to learn more about these new tools, see our other session, Introducing Geospatial Creator with Stevan and Val. The second area of investment, geometry and anchoring. Being able to accurately place content on building facades and streets in the real world can enhance AR experiences and open up your creations to new possibilities. The Gorillaz Band taking over the billboards in New York City, digitally of course, is a great example. Today, we are launching the Streetscape Geometry API. It makes it easy for developers to build experiences that interact with real-world geometry, like reskinning a facade, or just placing a virtual asset on a building. With this API, you will be able to get geometry meshes for both terrain and buildings within 100 meters of the mobile device's location. Building on our 3D model of the world, we are providing various anchoring capabilities to connect virtual objects to the real world. Initially, we launched geospatial anchors, which allow you to place stable geometry at exact locations using latitude, longitude, altitude, and rotation. Over the past year, we added terrain anchors, 
which can be created at fixed location on Earth's terrain, using only longitude and latitude coordinates, with the altitude being calculated automatically. Terrain anchors aren't available everywhere, such as places where we don't know the terrain, like oceans, the middle of a lake, forests, or mountains without any buildings. Today, we are introducing a new type of anchor, rooftop anchors. Rooftop anchors enable you to place digital content on top of the building geometry. Where advanced 3D data is available, streetscape geometry is higher quality and contains information about the height of the buildings. This can be used to place anchors securely to the rooftops. Like terrain anchors, rooftop anchors can be placed using a latitude and longitude to create an exact pose for the anchor. As you can see, having a detailed 3D map of the world can be incredibly helpful. In addition to new anchoring capabilities, we are also leveraging streetscape geometry to improve one of the most important capabilities in AR, depth. Depth enables AR experiences to have more interactions with the real world. For example, occlusion or collision. Today, we are releasing geospatial depth. It combines the mobile device real-time depth measurement with streetscape geometry data to generate a depth map of up to 65 meters, a distance eight times longer than when we initially launched the depth API just three years ago. This new capability should help you build increasingly realistic geospatial experiences in the real world. Our third area of investment is world understanding. The ability to automatically place virtual objects based on semantic understanding of the world can save developers a significant amount of time and effort. Today, we are launching the Scene Semantics API. This API uses AI to provide accurate labels of features that are present in a scene outdoors. 12 class labels are available at launch. For instance, sky, building, tree, road, sidewalk, vehicle, person, and more. So if you are building an AR walking navigation experience and want to always place AR direction arrows on the sidewalk, you can do just that using the Scene Semantics API. To help you experience these new APIs in action, we're launching Mega Golf. In the game, you will use buildings in your city to propel a golf ball towards a hole while avoiding the 3D obstacles. This open source demo will be available on GitHub. We're excited to see what you can do with this project. With augmented reality, the physical world acquires digital attributes, which can redefine the way people learn, create, shop, get information, and play. AR Core Geospatial API, the Geospatial Creator in Adobe Arrow and Unity, and the many new features we are releasing today make it easier than ever for developers and creators to make the world their canvas. I hope you're excited about the future of AR as we are. If you want to learn more, please check out our developer resources and samples, as well as our other talks. Start playing and building on top of our open source demo Megagolf, available today on GitHub. And stay tuned for the first of its kind global AR game with Space Invaders later this summer. Thank you so much for your time, and we can't wait to see what you build next.